Did that attitude actually hurt her in the end? I think we got to back it all the way up to how she got to where she was. And part of that is because she's playing by a different set of rules as a female athlete. She can't just be good at her sport. She has to also manufacture headlines. Uh, she has to, every time she approaches a fork in the road and can take the more explosive confrontational route, or she could take the good girl, say the right thing route, she kind of had to take the explosive route because she needed to get attention. She needed to build a platform. And I thought she was really smart about how she did that. And she won a, a medal, an Olympic medal in judo. We didn't know who she was. Obviously, moving into a sport where it's also validating this type of confrontational behavior was helpful to her. I don't think she would have been saying the same things if she was in a basketball or a tennis. A lot of it was the climate of what MMA and UFC brings. But, so my point is, is that if she was a male athlete, she could just say whatever she wanted whether that was explosive or not. And being good at her sport would have gotten the headlines. She couldn't do that. She had to make the headlines. So in a lot of ways, we saw her manufacturing these interactions with Floyd Mayweather, with the Kardashians, with almost everything, with Bieber, too. She had to do that. Now, I do think that once she built her platform, she kind of kept her foot on the gas there. And I don't know if that was habitual. I don't know if she kind of got into a rhythm of like, I'm always taking that one road, I'm always taking that one road. She already had the 1.7 million Twitter followers. Everybody was tuning into her matches. I don't know that she needed to go the extra mile with Holly, but I do know that that is how she built her platform. And so I completely understand that that was- JDB here with another video. I, I hope all of you have just seen this bullshit. This woman, comes on national television and basically blames not only the sport but the fact that women can't get any kind of uh, attention in order then to act like a complete idiot she basically blamed all of Ronda Rousey's idiotic behavior on other people. She blamed it on the sport. She blamed it on men. She blamed it on the lack of people wanting to watch women in sports. She pretty much put the blame on everybody but Ronda. Ronda is a grown woman. She's 28 years old. Why are we putting all of... Why, why is she... Well, it doesn't surprise me because this woman sides with women on anything. I mean, she's a walking... Build, she's like a walking uh, advertisement for what a feminist looks like. I mean, th this is the type of bullshit that feminists spew out whenever they don't have anyone else to blame. Instead of blaming the person who said what they said, who was being arrogant, who was basically got outclassed. She's blaming the flat fact that she got outclassed on other people. I, I, like, seriously. So this woman is not going to take responsibility for anything that she has said and done? Are you serious? That to me really makes no sense. But this is what you're dealing with when you're dealing with women. You're dealing with women who, who really have no accountability. They don't know how to be accountable. And I, I just hope that people look at this and see this for what it is. Okay. Because... ESPN has changed a lot over the past five, six years. It has become more geared towards women because even in Hollywood, everything is geared more towards getting more women to spend money, right? So if women are buying movie tickets and women are watching television shows, why aren't women watching sports? Why aren't women spending money on women's sports? Can someone explain this to me? Because she's saying the only way to get attention is to act like a jackass. So to act like, so when you act like a jackass, that gets you the attention that you want. Are you are you serious? So acting like a jackass is the only way to get attention, and and that it should explain the way all of her behavior, all of her calling out Floyd Mayweather, threatening to fight Floyd Mayweather, talking about his domestic violence past her. 
uh, admitting that she too has committed domestic violence. But we're just going to sweep all of that under the rug because she's Ronda Rousey. Are you fucking kidding me? But this is what goes on nowadays. If women have the money, why aren't they investing in sports? You know why? Because women don't care about other women in sports. That is why the WNBA is a is a is a is a financial burden on the NBA. But because of uh because of gynocentrism, because of feminism, they have to make it seem like they care about women's sports. But women's sports don't make any money. The only sport that has women that makes money is tennis. Tennis is the only sport where females make just as much money as the men or even more. Because a lot more people with a lot more money buy into tennis. Then you have golf. You don't see female golfers complaining about money. How many female golfers or female tennis players are complaining? Well, you have you know, Serena Williams complaining, but I think she was just complaining because she wanted more attention than, than some of the other females. But... Women don't care about sports. They have the spending power, right? Why aren't they investing in sports? Because they don't give a fuck. They're investing in the NFL. I'm pretty sure they invest in the NBA. Why don't they... In, they, they I think they invest in Major League Baseball. Why don't they invest in women's sports? Because they don't care about you women. Women don't like other women. The only time they come together, it is to go against men. That's the only other time. Women can't stand each other. So for this idiot to blame other people for the behavior of an adult is stupid and shows you how idiotic these women are and how they have no logic. Trying to figure out the logic of these women is like trying to find a unicorn. You're not going to find one. So uh, this is just a quick video. Let me know what you think in the comment section of this video.